Welcome to the next video in the Metal Machining series. We're going to be looking at machining tolerances in this video. So what is a tolerance? A tolerance is the total amount that a specific dimension is permitted to vary. It is the difference between the maximum and the minimum limits for the dimension. When talking about tolerances, we should also consider limits and fits. We discuss this in the next slide. So what are limits and fits? This is how McGraw-Hill explains it. The extreme permissible values of a dimension are known as limits. The degree of tightness or looseness between two mating parts that are intended to act together is known as the fit of the parts. The character of the fit depends upon the use of the parts. Thus, the fit between members that move or rotate relative to each other, such as a shaft rotating in a bearing, is considerably different from the fit that is designed to prevent any relative motion between two parts, such as a wheel attached to an axle. So let's have a look at some examples. A tolerance can be written in a number of different formats. In this first example, we have 1.25 plus or minus 0 0.002 of an inch. This next tolerance is showing 1.252 as the maximum tolerance and a minimum tolerance of 1.248 of an inch. This next example gives us 1.252 plus 0 or minus 0 0.004 of an inch. This last example gives us 1.248 plus 0 0.004 minus 0. All these dimensions are the same, just in different formats. Let's have a look at the different fits between mating parts. There are typically three types of fit between parts. Clearance fit. The hole is larger than the shaft, enabling the two parts to slide and or rotate when assembled. Transition fit. The hole is fractionally smaller than the shaft and mild force is required to assemble or disassemble. Interference fit. The hole is smaller than the shaft and a high force and or heat is required to assemble or disassemble. Let's look at a basic clearance fit example. So let's look at a shaft that needs to be assembled into a hole and what effect tolerances has on the parts. Here we have a shaft with a maximum dimension of 1.251 and a minimum dimension of 1.249, whereas the hole has a maximum dimension of 1.254 and a minimum dimension of 1.252. So let's look at the maximum clearance between the shaft and the hole. Here we have 1.254 minus 1.249 and that gives us a gap of 0 0.005 of an inch. The minimum clearance between the shaft and the hole is 1.252 minus 1.251 meaning we have a gap of 0 0.001. This is a clearance fit. Now let's have a look at a transition fit example. Here we have a shaft with a maximum dimension of 1.2509 and a minimum dimension of 1.2503. The hole has a maximum dimension of 1.2506, a minimum dimension of 1.2500. Here the maximum hole and minimum shaft condition is 1.2506 minus 1.2503 meaning we have a 0 0.003 interference fit. The minimum hole and maximum shaft condition gives us 1.2500 minus 1.2509. That means we have a 0 0.009 interference fit. This is a transition fit. 
Now let's have a look at the basic interference fit example. Our shaft maximum dimension is 1.2519 and a minimum dimension of 1.2513, whereas the hole gives us a maximum dimension of 1.2506 and a minimum dimension of 1.2500. Again, we've got our maximum hole and minimum shaft condition, giving us a 1.2506 minus the 1.2513 equals a 0 0.013 interference fit, whereas the minimum hole and maximum shaft condition gives us a 1.2500 minus the 1.2519, meaning we have a 0 0.019 interference. This is an interference fit. So let's summarize what these fits are. First, let's look at our clearance. We always have a gap. The tolerance zone of the hole is way above the tolerance zone of the shaft. In a transition fit, we have a slight interference, meaning the tolerance zone in the shaft and the hole are very close together. The interference fit, we can see the tolerance zone of the shaft is above the tolerance zone of the hole, meaning there is always interference. Let's touch on the ISO limits and fits. So what is an ISO system for limits and fits? The ISO system of limits and fits is a coordinated system of hole and shaft tolerances for engineering and manufacturing used for cutting tools, material stock, gauges, etc. If held to these tolerances, cutting tools, material stock and gauges are generally available throughout the world. The hole basis fits have four preferred hole tolerances. Their references are H11, H9, H8 and H7. The shaft basis fits have four preferred shaft tolerances as well. They are H11, H9, H7 and H6, as shown on the table in the next slide. As a point to note, the hole tolerances are capitalized. We say a capital H, 11, H9, H8 and H7, whereas the shaft references have the lower case H11, H9, H7, and H6, for example. The ISO system for limits and fits as a table format. We can see here we have three separate zones, the clearance fit, transition fit, and interference fit. The ISO symbols give us the codes that we need to reference and machine against. If we take the H9 D9, for example, in the clearance fit zone, this is free running fit, not for use where accuracy is essential, but good for large temperature variations, high running speeds, or heavy journal pressures. We can see on the right hand side here, at the top we have more clearance, whereas down the bottom is more interference. Let's have an example using the ISO system for limits and fits. Now let's assume that we have a basic dimension of 15 millimeters and we required a clearance fit that provided a sliding fit not intended to run freely, but to move and turn freely and locate accurately. So we can see here the dimension is over 10 millimeters including 18 millimeters. Our 15 millimeters fits within this zone. We are looking at an H7 based upon our requirements. That gives us a tolerance of plus 18 microns plus zero. The shaft size is the G6 fit, which is minus six microns minus 17 microns. So the hold dimensions would be 15.018 millimeters to 15 millimeters, whereas the shaft dimensions would be 14.994 and 14.938. This gives us a maximum clearance of 0 0.08 millimeters and a minimum clearance of 0 0.006 millimeters. 
In the next video, we're going to be looking at geometric dimensions and tolerances, commonly known as GD&T. GD&T is used to define the nominal, theoretically perfect geometry of parts and assemblies to define the allowable variation in form and possible size of individual features and to determine the allowable variation between features. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Sofist and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.